Studio B at KPRC Channel 2. Houston Life starts now. Welcome to Houston Life, everyone. So glad to have you with us today. As always, I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. To sum up this year, we can say 2020 has been a very long and strange year. Oh, but yeah. one thing is for sure, we've all spent a lot more time at home. Just sitting around, <laughs> right? Well, whether you decided to take up a new hobby, finally tackle those home improvement projects, or have been exploring new recipes in the kitchen, you might have learned that sometimes it's quite fun to do it yourself. Sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. It is fun. Today, we are taking a look back at some of our favorite DIY segments from the year. So sit back, relax, and try to learn something a little new. You know what I love about As Seen on TV products? The commercials. I mean, really, they create products to solve problems that don't actually exist. Since 2015, I have tested or supervised tests for 175 products. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. The best tests are definitely the flops. Oh, gosh, that's hot. Okay, one, two, three. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are kind of a big deal, Amy Davis. We totally agree. Thumbs up or thumbs down? That is the question we are answering today with the help of KPRC Channel 2 consumer expert Amy Davis. You all know her as the resource to help save you time and money, have a little bit of fun. And today, Amy, you are letting us join the fun. And I'm a little alarmed because I know nothing about what's about to happen. We have an egg theme going on. I mean, so the whole thing started as a way, you know, people see something in the store and they want to buy it, but they don't really want to spend the money on it because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right. This is the egg sitter that you have. And so it's supposed to be, it make any seat comfortable because it absorbs the shock into like truck drivers or you're going to a basketball game or football game sitting on bleachers and yeah. you're hard and uncomfortable. So it's so squishy and absorbent that when you sit, it will absorb the shock and that egg won't break. Are you sure about this though? Well, you're going to test it. And I think I have seen this. I'm just going to hold up just the edge right here. So it is kind of this... Squishy, squishy material. Like foam. What's the price on this? This is $39.88 at Walmart. 30, so that's quite an investment. I mean, before someone goes out and spends some yeah. th that kind of money on something that may or may not work. Right, because you don't want to have to just toss it if you spend 40 bucks on it. True. So here's your chance, folks, to see if it works. To see. And don't be like gingerly about it. Like sit down how you normally would. Right? Take a seat. <laughs> Come on. And drum roll. And that is a real egg? That is a real egg. Oh my gosh. I didn't bring a change of okay, you I'm didn't? just I don't think you're gonna need it. I think it works. I shouldn't sit slowly. Go! Okay, I don't like this. Does it feel like you're laying an egg? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what does laying egg feel like? So I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything and I'm pretty sure I mean I can feel I can feel a firm I can feel a bit of firm pressure on my left Buttocks. buttocks. Oh, then you actually sat on, yeah. I'm sitting on the so egg. So we did test this before. I know some people tried to sit where it was like <laughs> in their, you know. In the middle? Right in the middle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but he actually got a buttock on it. Okay. Well, so, there we go. So that works. How about up? So, can you stand up stand now? Up. Well, I can stand up now. See, look it. And it absorbed. But still, my question, though, is can I... <laughs> <laughs> Love these sound effects. Can I actually sit on it without the egg? Yes, to see if you like it. It's I sort mean, of like it is definitely more comfortable without the egg. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could see sitting on this. And you would, you know, maybe carry it around with you, or if you had to no. sit for long periods of time, like you could keep it at your job, like somebody who has an office job that maybe not a very comfortable chair. Yeah, maybe keep it at your desk. But in terms of like carrying it around, Amy, no, I in doubt. Your handbag like probably it wouldn't go. Here I am with my <laughs> egg sitter. Um, well, that was very nice and sort of yeah, alarming. Right. Thank you so much, I'm Amy. I'm going to let you keep that. That is your prize for testing it for us live on Houston Life. And well, let me come on today. Thank you so okay. much. This thank is the you. best day of my life, Amy. Lovely. Amy Davis. Amy Davis. Hey, okay, we're not done yet. Okay. So, Courtney, you yes. have also an egg theme. Do you boil eggs often? Do your I do. Does your family eat hard-boiled eggs? Yeah, we love them. Okay. I love them, too. All right, and then peeling them. Totally pain. Yes. 
So, this is the Easy Egg. Okay. It's Easy Eggs. It's supposed to be able to shake the shells right off the eggs. You don't have to peel them. Okay. You can put up to three eggs in here at one time, shake them for five to ten seconds, and then when you open it, it's supposed the shells are just supposed to come right off and get naked eggs. Okay, I'm all for it. Okay, what's in here now? So, that's water. The water needs to stay in there. There's like a little fill line, so we've already done that for you. Okay. And we had napkins either way so that, you know. So, do you recommend that we put all three in? Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's try all three. All right, let's do all three. Right amount of water. And then you shake. I don't. Okay. And then you kind of turn it, twist it to close it. There you go. Okay. Like a shake, like a martini like a, shaker? Yeah. Like on the commercial, one lady does it with one hand and then somebody else does it with two. Okay. Thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. You can keep going. We'll do 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Okay. Well, I'm seeing something has really? happened in here. Yep. So when you touch them, which I know you really want to do, right? Um, do, do the shells slide right off? That's what happens in the commercial. Actually, okay. in the commercial, they were off already. No, like some of them are off. We broke an egg in uh -huh. one of them. No, this is just as, I mean, if you can, I don't know how close we're getting on this, but it's in little see. pieces. It's like it completely cracked, but Which they're tiny. Which makes it harder, it right? It does. Because they're not coming off in whole, like, you know, four or five seconds. Yeah, I mean, look at this one's completely smashed. Oh, wow. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Yeah. And then this one, there is part of the egg. Uh -huh. Maybe maybe it works better with just two eggs instead of three. Maybe. I will tell that you. That they're recommending. I also tested this one, and I got the same result. So I was a little bit nervous about you guys testing them, and, like, the egg would break on Derek. And yeah. This would be perfect. <laughs> I know. But here's the thing. I mean, this is wouldn't save us any more time, I don't think. I think it's more of a hassle. Exactly. That's exactly what I found. Okay. So this is at Walmart 988. Uh-huh. So I'm going to say peel our own eggs. Exactly. But I'm kind of digging this. The seat thing because that's great for stadium seating. I mean, it doesn't help with your back, but, but it just like it's supposed to provide like support for your for everything. Yeah. Guess, because it, so maybe Derek will let you borrow that since yeah. he didn't think it was cool enough to carry around. I know. Okay, I love it, Amy. I will tell you, I watch your segments all the time. I have for years, and I love it that you're able to do everything, kind of test it out. Because that's the thing. Before we buy it, we definitely want to know if it works. I mean, yeah. you love doing this stuff. I do. It's fun. My kids do it with me. They like doing it. Now, my nine-year-old said the only reason that people watch it so often is because we're on there so much. I mean, I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's gonna start requesting part of my paycheck. <laughs> sassy, sassy yeah. little nine-year-old. I can't believe how big they are when we were looking at the videos of um, how little they are. Piper, oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, there's some of them like when she, so she's six now and there's and there she is, I'm holding her and she's like probably not even a year. Oh my yeah, word. That's Tommy as a baby, he's oh, five. Right? They are so cute, Amy, they grow up so fast. But I love that you do all this stuff. Do people send you ideas too or you find all the stuff? They do, no, people send ideas and so we started it as, as seen on TV Tuesday and then I felt like we were doing so many tests that they weren't making enough products for us to keep up with. And people would send, they'd see Facebook products. And I'm like, well, it's not really as seen on TV. So now it's Test It Tuesday. It doesn't have to be an as seen on TV product. It could also just be something that you see anywhere. Um, so I need ideas. Right. Because a lot of these products that people see on Facebook, I order them and it takes four months to get here. Oh, that doesn't help. No. So, right. No, we need other stuff that we can get to right away. Right, exactly. Now, all the past ones that you've tried all on YouTube? Yes. So we have them on our KPRC, our um, KPRC 2 Click 2 Houston YouTube page. And then there's a special section there with all of the As Seen on TV videos preloaded so you can watch them all. It's fantastic. Amy, it's so good to see you in person, girlfriend. Thank I think you. it's been a couple months since I've actually seen you. Yeah, I know. And I'm I know you want to go gone by now. And you want to go to bed. Well, I, you took the drinks away. That's um, Well, we can get you a sip. That's not a problem. We've got more. By the way, if you have a product you would like Amy to test, as you just heard, she needs more, just send an email to adavis at kprc.com. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Y'all have Amy. a good show. All right, still to come on Houston Life, save time and money. We've got easy DIY updates for your home. And coming up next, don't toss those holiday wreaths just yet. We're showing you how to repurpose them for the new year. Houston Life will be back in two minutes. Welcome back. Before you start taking down your holiday wreaths, our next guest says you can easily update them seasonally in just a few easy steps. And here to share how we can create an air plant wreath for our space is Houston Flora designer and co-owner of the Flora Culture, Gemini Oaks. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This display is so beautiful. Yes. I've actually been to your store right on Chimney Rock. It is truly fantastic. But I have to be honest, Jem. 
I have not had success with a single air plant. <laughs> so we can take care of these, right? Yes. Actually, these are one of my favorite ones because you don't need any soil. You just put them in a tub of water once a week and then let them dry and put, put them right back. They need a lot of sunlight, though. So Okay. Maybe mine were just faulty. But also, <laughs> having plants around and it's living good. things, it's good for us, right? It cleans Absolutely. the air. Yep. It lifts the soul. What are some of the other benefits? So there's been a lot of studies about sleep. I have some. We have two boys boys and they sleep a lot because we have a ton of uh, plants oh. in their room so that's a little you know tidbit of information but yeah it helps with mental health and your physical health because it's absorbing toxins out of the air and creating filling with oxygen. oxygen that's right Look at this beautiful room we have there on the screen. So a lot of people after the holidays, Gemini, they will just sort of like throw out that wreath, right? Yes. But what you're saying is that we can actually save, maybe some of the components of that wreath have died, but we save the base of the wreath? Yep, so this is Christmas. It's kind of gone. For me, it's sad. My husband's ready to yeah. be done with it right, right after, but I'm like, can we keep it till February? That's what ours looks like right now. <laughs> so this is dead and it's done with, but behind here, most of there's a metal wreath ring and yeah. you just un take all the dead, you know, foliage off right. and do something else that you can sort of keep throughout the year. So that's when you're left with basically the ring, yes. right? Okay. Yes. And so what do we do then from here? So I took a um, spray paint, some gold spray paint and just cover it up so it doesn't look that green you know weird color but you can do whatever color you want okay and so for air plants the reason why it's this is great for that is you know with a low temperature uh, glue gun you can uh, you can attach them to this so Are you serious? Them right on? Yes. That's okay to do that? Yes. It won't can. hurt the plant. It won't. Like this, actually, this glue gun. So if you have a more intense glue gun at home, if you put it on there, I would wait for like a few seconds before putting it. But if you have one of these, it's a low temperature glue gun. It's perfectly fine. It won't hurt it. And with the same process, basically, when you want to water it once a week, you can take this entire thing and put, fill up your sink with water. Okay, we're totally doing this at this my is house. So can awesome. you get started showing us how yeah, to do it? Well, yes. Look at this one here. So yes. we literally are just going to place it and, and glue it. Yeah, and have, have some creative license and have some fun. Grab I like some. this one. I like this big, tall one. That one is, so that one's probably going to require a, a little bit of glue. So okay. we're going to have to like play around with getting it attached on there. So I would start and try to wrap the glue around it. Okay. And Gemini, is there a specific part of the air plant? Like, would it be the base along here where we would put the glue? Or do you put yes. the glue directly on the wreath frame? Yeah, so what I do so that it makes sure, because this glue dries really fast, and again, it's not a very, very hot glue, I would put some of the glue on here and around it. So make sure you get the glue all the way around so it holds it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So on the bottom, on the base, Put the glue on there. And you say so once a week around. we're supposed to dunk the entire wreath in well, water. Because you want to make sure you submerge all the plants, all the air plants in water. That's so do you also just get a spray bottle of water and just spray it or is that not enough? I mean, some people do that and they swear by it. I wouldn't, we personally don't recommend that. We personally recommend to just... Um, submerge it in water for one hour. If you're bathing your kids, oh, go ahead and think about your hour. air plants. Okay. And then, you know, let it sit for an hour. And then after that, just put it to dry. I would put it to dry sort of upside down. They don't want water sitting inside of them. So put them to dry upside down. And after that, put it back in the spot that you you have it. So clearly on television here, when we only have a few minutes, there are time constraints. But yes. I can see, because of your finished product, this could be a very beautiful item, not just in a contemporary or modern home, yeah. but look at that, Courtney. I know, I'm getting that. started on it. Look it's so that. beautiful. I love it. I love it. And so the great thing is about this is, you know, yeah, you can have friends over. We have some workshops at, you know, at the shop that will do this particular one with air plants. And you can gift it to somebody else or you can be selfish and keep it to yourself. And Janet, <laughs> if, if people go in right now, they can mention Houston Life, get 25% off any air plant for the entire month of January. Look at your beautiful family. Oh, this is ridiculous. So Are these like photos from a catalog? Yes, your store is so, so beautiful. It's, 
uh, on Chimney Rock, the 3100 block, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. That's right. It really is fantastic. Thank Thanks for you. being here. Thanks Gemini for Hicks. having Thank me. Thank you so we much. appreciate it. More details, by the way, are on our website, HoustonLife.tv, and more info on interior scaping. And don't forget to use that Houston Life code when you go in there. Thanks again. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back. So fun. Well, as many of us have been spending more time at home during 2020, maybe you've noticed some places around the house that could use some updating. Oh, yeah. You see all the little projects, right? <laughs> Catherine Emery, home improvement and lifestyle expert, is joining us now with some very simple upgrades she promises we can do ourselves. Catherine, it is so great to see you, and I love that uh, just like Tex has been on our table, you have your <laughs> brand new kitty there at home. How you doing? I mean, hi, how are you guys? First of all, yes, there is always a project to do around the house, Derek. Come on, let's go. We know this, right? And I'm going to tell you about it. I decided that um, we need to bring James in so he doesn't get in Courtney's face like Tex was. Like, look at this. He's just cleaning himself. It does tie into this product, too, so we'll get there. But anyway. <laughs> product placement. We'll started, I love it. Right? <laughs> we'll get started. Well, like you said, so now it's fall is here, right? We're going to start moving, living inside. Let's, what do you guys think is the easiest way to update the look of your kitchen and bathroom? Super simple. Takes you an hour to do. Swap out the hardware, right? Yes, bing, bing, bing. You're such an A student, Derek. I love uh. you. So anyway, so this is this is a super easy way to do it too. Liberty Hardware makes what they call the adjustable. So it is literally the easiest way to update that cabinet hardware. So you literally just take off your existing hardware like we're showing you here. There's gonna be those two holes. You'll put in the screws that they provide and then you'll literally just slide it on. The nice thing oh. is, is there's standard to lock. It's, instead of just standard, if you have a longer or unique size, it doesn't matter because <sighs> it's gonna cover it. So it goes anywhere from a smaller size to a larger size um, by Liberty Hardware Adjustable. Just a super wow. great, easy way to update the look of any kitchen or bathroom. Isn't that awesome? It is it a great is. tip because hardware, you know, the holes are sometimes an inch apart, two inches, right. three, so then you don't have to worry if it doesn't fit. Absolutely. Exactly. No, no drilling, no patching. So and what's perfect. great, they come in two, um, two styles and three trendy finishes too. So check out Liberty Hardware as well. And you say, Catherine, the next thing too is add new fresh paint. I mean, we all know, Courtney, I've had you painting in the yep. studio before. Painting is the easiest way to update the look and feel of any room. But what takes forever? The mm. painter's tape. Forget it. Mm. With this new product, goodbye. We're being dramatic. <laughs> so this is by Boxtown Team. It's called the Cut and Edge. And literally, it's just a paintbrush cover. You lock it over the paintbrush, and then it'll control the bristles. So it delivers the right amount of paint to whatever you're painting so you don't you can cut an edge easily on your own just an awesome project to do and it's it's um they're launching it at Lowe's but just super easy way then you don't have to cut an edge any you don't have to do the painter's tape oh they're showing it right here see it'll just you'll pinch it super tight mm -hmm. and then it just does it for you so oh, yeah. painting is great especially like we're all at home a lot more right paint that zoom wall behind you if you yes. want to or but see how see how easy it is. So that's my Boxtown team, and you you guys can check it out at Lowe's. But just painting is so easy, especially nowadays when there's simple things like this that can just cut those shortcuts in half. You know what I mean? Yeah, cut and edge paintbrush is genius because the taping, as you said, Catherine, does take such a long time. Let's move on to blinds, window coverings in the home. You've got an easy way we can all motorize them. Yes, absolutely. So what takes the longest in the morning, right? Opening blinds, closing blinds, adjusting your shades. So I stalked Levelor. They're a number one of the number one makers of blinds online for this motorized option. So see, you can literally, so it doesn't matter whether you have blind shades, shutters, with just a click of the remote, you can literally open and shut them. The thing I love is that you can actually group rooms, so no more walking around in rooms, and the app will allow you to create custom schedules. So say, you know, you guys wake up super early, but say you're waking up at eight o'clock, you can set it to open when you, you wake, close when you go to sleep, and then when you're on vacation, if you don't want people to not know you're there. The nice thing is too, Leveler has a ton of great options. 
so this is cellular so it lets a little bit of light in but there's just so it just creates so much different ambience and i mean i, I love smart things you know i want mm -hmm. i want remote controls and things to do all the work for me right uh, yeah <laughs> uh yeah just by a click of a button for sure i love that one by Levelor motorized blinds and then i'm really interested in this because you have your cat james <laughs> i have my oscar you say there's a great cordless vacuum that we all need there's James. So he, he, so I mean, he's right here. I, right. I feel like Austin Powers right now. But anyway, <laughs> um, so, so Hoover. Uh, I mean, everybody loves Hoover, right? They, they're just like the leader in vacuums. They came out with this one power. So number one, they're cutting the cord for you. There's a ton of products from anywhere from your blinds to your drapes to obviously your floors to outdoors to wet dry vac. So they have this one battery, this lithium ion battery that goes in all of the different items. So you don't have to look around for it. You can just interchange it in between all of them. And then, you know, we're, you guys are pet owners. We got text there, we got James. So this right here is the Evolve Pet Cordless Upright. And the thing I love about it is, since it's an upright, you get that power of like a regular traditional vacuum, but it's super lightweight. You can move it around and it's gonna get that embedded pet hair. And then also the nice thing is with the HEPA filter, mm -hmm. it's actually gonna get rid of all those, that pet dander. Cause my husband says he's allergic. I think all men say they're allergic <laughs> to cats, but you know, so he hasn't had any problems since we've gotten the, the cordless pet right. But, but you know, here's the little small handheld. <laughs> But, and there's a lot more wet dry vac, et cetera. Just to, so just make life easy, cut the cord, get a battery powered, and then make sure they're super efficient and lightweight so you're not feeling like a chore lugging everything around. Absolutely, and Hoover is tried and true. We love seeing you, Catherine. You always have the latest and greatest. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait to be with you guys, but always love being on the best show with the best host. Oh, love you. you are too kind. We'll see you in studio. We hope very, very soon, Catherine. Thanks for that. Me too. And if you would all like more details about all of these products, we did post an article on our website, HoustonLife.tv. She is fantastic. Always hits it out of the park with all the gadgets. The and interchangeable stuff. batteries, too. Uh, hello. It's genius. I know. Welcome back. You know, during this time at home for parents, you know, we've gotten very creative with the kids' art projects, but sometimes you might not have all the materials that you need, and that's where Color Me Mine in Cyprus is here to help. Yeah, this is like a next-level art project, right? Owner Clayton Harris joins Lauren Kelly to talk about their to-go pottery paint kits that come with everything your child needs to create their very own ceramic masterpiece. You know, one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite memories as a younger kid was to go to one of the pottery paint classes and just paint my heart out, grab the paints, watch it dry. And even though I'm not a really great artist, I always felt like I was one. And Clayton Harris is the owner of Color Me Mine in Cyprus. You do have some at-home kits for kiddos to take home. So we're doing at-home kits, we're doing uh doorstep delivery and we're doing curbside pickup Tuesdays and Saturdays noon to four um, so a lot of customers have been real happy we our first day was uh, this past Saturday and everybody was real happy about it have good customers they're very happy to be doing something with the kids at the at the house and so we're glad to offer this and uh, so the staff's really eager to uh, also see the customers and that's one of the things we really, really miss is the customers in store and so it's so fun to see everybody's pieces and their painting and stuff like that and the experience they're having uh, but we're also getting some good pictures and videos of people doing it at their house which is nice to see that's wonderful i know it's almost like we're taking everybody at home with us so it's like hey here's my office <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right so let's talk a little bit about what are inside of these color remind kits like from start to finish everything that you'd need as if you were inside the store Yes, ma'am. Um, so you get online uh, through our website, cypress.colorymind.com, and uh, through the links, you can get to our online shop. And uh, you order your ceramic piece. Uh, you actually pick out your paint, and you can either, like I said, pick the delivery option, or you can pick up the uh, curbside option here in the store. And uh, you get home, you paint it, and then when you're done, uh, we also, we said we're letting people come back and drop the items off when we're open on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And then we glaze it, fire it, and just like normal, we contact everybody, tell them, hey, we're gonna be open these days, and you can pick up your finished items. So everything when it's finished is food safe, dishwasher safe, 
and waterproof. That was my question, Clayton. I know that in the past when I've gone, the final step is the glaze and it makes it nice and shiny. That's not something that you can do at your own house. That has no, to be taken back to you guys. Yes, ma'am. We have a, let's say the staff is doing the backgrounds of that when uh, everything is dropped off. They're coming in, glazing, firing uh, when we have enough product. And uh, so we're trying to get stuff out as conveniently and quickly as we possible, possibly can for everybody still. I noticed that on your website, you also have some downloadable coloring sheets, which is such a great idea. Maybe your kid isn't old enough to do mm -hmm. the painting yet. Maybe they'd like to just download something to color on, and that's just for free as well on the website. You download that, you print it out, and you can color that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, guys, I'm, 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 I personally have a seven-year-old, so she gets tired of painting all the stuff in the <laughs> shop. So we've been doing coloring sheets and other stay-at-home activities, safe for everybody at their house if they don't want to partake uh, in our ceramic pieces. We know right now some some people is financially strained, and uh, we do at least want to offer something that people are able to do in their house, which is a little different. That's so wonderful. And you know what? You don't have to be a kid to paint. You can order as an adult. It's for anybody. Yeah, absolutely not. Right now, I'm actually personally working on what I call a dudicorn. A, and, uh, a unicorn. So, yes, ma'am. So it's a unicorn, and it's got a blue head, and the hair is actually going to be fire color. Oh, that is super dude. <laughs> yeah, so, so I have a bunch of unicorns, and they're all white with blue and pink and stuff like that. And I was like, man, I need a dude corn. Now, what's been the most popular piece people have come in to pick up? Uh, the, most, the most popular piece right now is probably the unicorns. Yeah, unicorn, and we're going to make that dude corn just That's as possible. <laughs> and then maybe you can add the manmosa or something. I don't know. Yeah. Just, just spitballing. <laughs> so I joke that I, my, out of all the shelves we have in the store, my wife lets me have one shelf. Oh, so, that's that's very generous of her. Yes. So that's my dude shelf. It's got skulls and dragons on it. <laughs> well, the dudes really do appreciate it. Yes. Clayton Harris, you and your wife, the owner of Color Me Mine in Cyprus. It's great fun for the whole family. If you'd ever wanted to paint these pottery pieces, now's definitely the time to take it home and work on it as a family. You can either get it delivered to your house. I'm sure if you're in the area, the vicinity, or you can also take the kids to go. More information online at HoustonLife.tv. Lauren, thank you so much. That was so great. And also to hear from Clayton, too. And what a great idea to be able to work on something like this at home, get the whole family involved. I like his dude shelf. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think so as well. My nieces and I, uh, they, they took, well, Brandon and me, they took us together to do uh, a whole project, and we had such a good time. It was a great memory. And now we have a little ceramic cupcake at home to use as a piggy bank. So we love that so idea. Cute. You know, many events, of course, have been canceled because of coronavirus and social distancing. And that, of course, includes baby showers. But there is a way for parents to be to still celebrate this joyful moment with friends and family. Yeah, don't cancel it. It needs to be celebrated. Nina Spears, co-founder and CEO of Baby Chick, is joining us now with tips on how to have a baby shower virtually. Nina, it is great to see you there at home. I know you're juggling family and running a business, but uh, a lot of people can use these tips today. Let's start with the first one, sending out a digital announcement or invite. And this is something that a lot of people were already doing, so many free ways to do it. Exactly. Once you've determined who is going to host your shower, whether you're going to do it yourself or someone else is going to host it, definitely send out that invitation, letting your guests know where they need to log in to be able to attend your virtual shower. That's the first step. Let's talk about how we decorate because being planning the party and the decorations, we can't forget that even though it's being done virtually, right? Exactly, exactly. So once you have that all squared away, the next thing you need to think about is where you're going to host your virtual shower. Are you going to do it in your living room, in your dining room? I recommend picking a spot where you can decorate behind yourself. The next thing besides the whole uh, get up behind you is make sure that your guests send you your gifts, whether they drop it off at your door or mail it to you before your shower. So that way you can open it with everyone logged in. That is such a great tip. And uh, again, this is something that wouldn't be a huge adjustment for people because so many people already order gifts online and have them sent ahead of time. Now, many of us have been extra cozy and comfortable at home, but this is one occasion you recommend, Nina, that people take a shower, 
Maybe consider putting on pants or a nice top <laughs> and brush your hair. Do your makeup almost like you're going out to an in-person event. Exactly. This is a big moment. You should still feel celebrated, feel beautiful. You're going to hopefully, you can even record your virtual baby shower and have that video of you chatting with all of your loved ones. So yes, get up, get showered, do your hair and makeup, feel pretty, feel beautiful. So you can just feel right on your day. It's still a big moment that you should, you know, pamper yourself. The other thing that's usually part of baby showers, of course, are all of the games. But you say we could still play these games virtually? Yes. So most people think, oh, with games, you can only do it when you're in person. But that is not true. There are several games that you can play and still do it virtually. You can do The Price is Right, where you have maybe your host sends you some of your essential baby products, whether that's diapers, wipes, you name it, and you show it to your guests, you know, on the computer, and they guess who, you know, or how much that price is, and whoever gets, you know, closest to the correct amount without going over wins. So you can still do fun games, you know, guess who's the baby, if people send in uh, their, a picture of themselves as a baby, and, and you have to guess which, which person is who from their baby pictures. There are still tons of fun games that you can do virtually. So don't skip out on the fun. Anita, I had mentioned earlier on today's show that last night we had tried to sing happy birthday to a friend of ours and everybody was singing. It was like kind of a mess. So one thing that you recommend, which I think is a really sweet idea, is that you have people one by one in each box on your computer screen share a nice memory for the expectant parents to be a memory or a blessing or a prayer or something uh, that's an extra special, meaningful memory. Absolutely. So something that we do in blessing ways, I actually like to do also in baby showers. Baby showers, we tend to really focus a lot on the baby and the gifts are all for the baby, which is great and wonderful and needed, but this is also a time to celebrate the mother. So to virtually tell the mother, you know, how proud you are, how she's gonna get through this, because it can be a very scary time right now for, for moms. So to be able to say positive birth stories, to tell her how great she's doing, how beautiful she is, just to go around and say something sweet to her, that's just going to to be with her for the rest of her pregnancy and childbirth and so it's it's a wonderful memory to do that I highly highly recommend cheers be sure you have a drink on hand and it's great to see you thanks for all the tips yes cheers make sure the mama has a drink cheers to everybody <laughs> Now, being socially distant can lead to zero choices in fashion. You may think, who's going to stay? Who's going to see me? I can stay in my PJs and sweats all day long, right? But let's face it, we want to be cute in quarantine. And while you're scrolling on your internet to something to put in your cart, ladies, we came across a jumpsuit that could be an Amazon gem of a find. With almost 3,000 reviews, we may have just found the holy grail of jumpsuits. While scrolling through Amazon, I found a jumpsuit for under $30. There's multiple colors to choose from, and on average, the reviewers have given it 4.2 stars out of 5. And I wanted to see if this jumpsuit needs to be a wardrobe staple. I'm excited to see what this looks like because I really want to put something fantastic and fabulous on. So we sent the jumpsuit to four ladies, all in different sizes, and all are different ages. We'll see. I like the color. I think it looks cute. We have Houston Life reporter Lauren Kelly. KPRC 2 special projects producer and busy mom, Tara Steedham. Sandy Kennedy, she's a retired grandma of three and married to the love of her life for 50 years. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we had to call in the big guns of fashion. Our style expert from the Trend Report, Marzi Petrus. Let's see if this jumpsuit is a keeper. Okay, time for the big Amazon jumpsuit review. This is it. I have it on. I have to say um, I ordered a medium because I wasn't exactly sure. Does it run small? I should have gotten a small. But the thing is with this, I don't have to push it down on my shoulder. It is off the shoulder just like the picture. So it's a little bit bigger on me, which I really, really like. Um, the other thing is I'm five feet tall, so it is pretty long. However, I just um, folded the cuff a couple times and that kind of does the trick for me. 
Um, I think the fit is really good. The fabric is amazing. Now I understand why there's about 3,000 four and five star reviews. I'm loving this. I think it's great. The fabric is light for Houston climate. Let's see what the other ladies think. Okay, here is my review on this Amazon jumpsuit. I'm wearing a size large, creature of uh, comfort. I like things like things and baggy on me. Um, it was nice. It's super soft. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas, but ones that are presentable to go run errands or be in quarantine with. Um, but and it doesn't, doesn't wrinkle at all, too. This is exactly how it came out of the packaging. My only issues with the reviews or what you read online is it says it's off the shoulder. This is the neckline of a size large. I mean, it's really not. You have to pull it. There's a button in the back. And then if you do have it off the shoulder, it just kind of hangs weird. Um, and then the drawstring. I thought if I went up to a large, I would easily be able to cinch it out the waist. But this is non-functioning. It's just here for show. Um, and then a little trick that I have, because I am 5'4", so things are always a little long on me. Courtney, I know you feel me. Um, if you get these rubber bands, like this one's from Whole Foods, if you put it at the bottom of your pant, flip the pant up, your pant will stay and it turns into a jogger and it's kind of any length that you need it to be. Um, so that is my review. I am actually now going to go put a few looks together with this jumpsuit because I have nothing better to do. Okay, here we are, our final reveal. Um, I really like it. This is a really cute little outfit, especially for the price. Um, this is an extra large and I am about a size 16. I don't know how I'm gonna be after the quarantine, but I'm about a size 16, so it actually feels good considering. Um, I paired it with some really cute Steve Madden shoes, brand new that I had in the closet. And then I did my, I think this is from Bobble, um, from Nordstrom. And then I had a necklace from Mexico that I paired it with. Um, I love the green colors, a little bit different, like a nice little pop here. Um, but definitely cute, especially for the price. Really cute, something to throw on to go to brunch with girlfriends. And um, the one thing I will note is the stitching is a little bit, you can tell it's a little bit cheaply done here, but otherwise everything else feels good. There were no strings hanging or anything like that, but I would definitely give this outfit a thumbs up. And when I can get out again, I will definitely be wearing it. So what I really love about this jumper, not only is it black and it matches every color you want to match it with, but the elasticity by my ankles, it wasn't too long this time, but if I wanted to hike it up, maybe wear it a little bit shorter, it kind of makes it a little bit dressier versus a little bit more casual if I were to have on a different set of shoes. I've got heels on now, but I could just as easily wear it with these flats. You guys know that I love my pink sparkly flats, and it makes it just as cute of an outfit with my flats a little bit more casual than it does with my heels. And it's got pockets, so it gives two thumbs up for me. This jumpsuit is a win-win. It's very versatile. You can dress it up or dress it down. I'm wearing heels right now, but you can wear flip-flops, sandals. When we are back to a normal environment, I will wear it at a casual lunch to an evening dinner to a show in Las Vegas. The material is very cool, comfortable, and light. It should be a good wear for anyone. Absolutely love it. Hey, I'm back. This is my hair. I haven't washed my hair in about a week because I've been in quarantine, but I gotta run to the store because I am out of groceries. <laughs> Okay, so this is my athleisure look. Uh, you can turn a jumpsuit into just pants and a sweater, and if you're wondering how to make it look like it's tucked in, the trick is to just put a belt on, get the bottom of the sweater, tuck it underneath, and then it'll stay tucked in forever. Um, yeah, very right back. I'm gonna go uh, shoot some hoops. I love it. Okay, so I picked the right ladies for this. I love that they were all different sizes, shapes, ages. I do have the jumpsuit on today. This is what I'm wearing. I didn't do the off the shoulder thing. I will tell you, it's super comfy. I think it's great for a Zoom call or when the quarantine is over, like you said, Vegas, out to lunch. Um, but ladies, if you're looking for a jumpsuit that's not going to break the bank, I'd add it to your cart. And we did post a link on our Scene on Houston Live section of our website so you can, you know, get some retail therapy later today, all under 30 bucks. It's a win-win from all the ladies.
adults with social distancing taking over, you may find it difficult to make a date night special without the fancy dinner reservations. But we have just the solution to help you upgrade that date night at home. Yeah, why not rekindle the flame, Courtney, with two easy cocktails you can make from the comfort of your own kitchen. Reka Vodka brand ambassador Trevor Schneider, along with his trusted assistant, also known as his wife, Emily, they're showing us how it's done. What's up, Courtney and Derek? I miss you guys, but I am very glad that you got a chance to meet my wife. Hi. Emily, I'm gonna let you start. Thanks, Trevor. So today we're gonna make a Caprioska. I like making this drink. It sounds like I know what I'm doing. I'm not a fancy mixologist like he is. So it's the probably one of the easiest drinks you'll ever make. You're gonna start off with six to eight lime pieces, which is three to four lime wedges just cut in half. You're gonna add to that two teaspoons of white sugar. If you have turbinado sugar at home, feel free to substitute that. Substitute that. Then you're gonna muddle it about 20 times. That's gonna release the juices and the oils from the skin of the lime, help dissolve that sugar. While I get started doing that, Trevor, what are you gonna make for me, us? So, <laughs> I'm gonna make an Icelandic martini, which I know you guys have had. And it's a simple espresso martini because it only has three ingredients. We're going to start with the best ingredient, <laughs> Reka Vodka, one of the first Icelandic vodkas sold here in the U.S., two ounces of that. Then we're going to move on to one ounce of fresh espresso. Very simple, very easy, great. This is for date night. Very, very, very easy. Then we're going to finish it off with a half an ounce of simple syrup, one to one. So equal parts sugar and water. Let it dissolve. No different than Emily is making on her caprioska. Then we're going to move on to my favorite part. We get to shake it up. It's my favorite part, too. Is the drink's almost done. It's because I'm shaking. Yes. Yeah. If you don't have a shaker at home, use a Tupperware container, a mason jar, anything with a lid so that everything doesn't go flying when you start shaking. Now I get to pour it. Pour it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was fancy at the end. Fancy. <laughs> Finish off yours. Perfect. So here you can see that the lime has really dissolved that sugar, and that's what you're looking for. To that, you're going to add two ounces of Reka. If you don't have one of these fancy measuring contraptions, feel free to use a measuring cup. It's a quarter of a cup. Do that. Add some ice. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. There we go. Give it a stir. If you don't have a fancy bar spoon, any spoon will work. Butter knife, whatever. Just stir it. And there you have it. And guys, stay safe, stay healthy. Order your liquor from Drizzly. And drink responsibly. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, so good. So good. Thanks for having us, Houston Life. Until next time. Oh, my goodness. Is it me, or do the cocktails taste even better oh. when your mixologists just happen to be super good-looking and stylish together? I mean, they're fantastic. I, I love mean, them. they are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm drooling over here. I know. It's no fair. But now we know how the viewers feel at home. You know, every time a viewer writes in and they're like, oh, if only we could try that cocktail you made on the show. Well, now we're in that exact same boat. I know, somehow that happened. In the meantime, <laughs> those drinks do look delicious, of course. For more information on Reka Vodka or to connect with Trevor, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Just look for that section titled Scene on Houston Life. It's right on the homepage. You can't miss it. These DIY projects, they're great until they're not great. Exactly. I leave them up to the professionals because I have the not great results. Remember my wallpaper disaster? Of course. Disaster? How could I forget? You tried to stick it on and then you just, it fell down and fell on you and stuck to you and then Yes, you... my hair was in it and I just tore it all down, rolled it up in a ball. It was the worst money I've ever spent. It sounds good to me. Do you want to come over and help me wallpaper a wall? How about I just watch and have a cocktail? Okay. All that right. That sounds good to me. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, but the news at four is next.